subscribe dr sadik mathematics channel for getting more online videos prove that the functions u is equal to x into square root of 1 minus y square plus y into square root of 1 minus x square v that is equal to sin inverse x plus sin inverse y are functionally dependent and hence find the relation between them what is functional dependent how to find functional dependent and relation between them today we discuss concept and problems on functional dependence let us see the concept of functional dependence let u is equal to f of xy and v is equal to g of xy be two differentiable functions of two independent variables x and y okay he given u is equal to f of xy and v is equal to g of xy be two differentiable friends differentiable functions of two independent variables what are the independent variables here x and y okay if u and v are connected by a relation then u and v are said to be functionally dependent okay u and v are connected by a relation relation then u and v are said to be functionally dependent friends for example we can write here for understanding purpose here here we can write uh, say uv is equal to sin v okay or uh, v is equal to log u log u see friends here there is a relation between u and v u and v so u and v are connected by a relation then u and v are said to be said to be functionally dependent functionally dependent that is here what he says here u is you can be expressed as function of v okay you can be expressed as a function of v or v can be expressed as a function of u v can be expressed as a function of u okay functional dependence means simply u and v are connected by a relation friends okay u and v are connected by a relation that is very very important then the concept of jacobian is useful in verifying the functional dependence of these functions okay jacobian is very useful friends verifying functional dependence okay we are by using jacobian we are finding whether it is de functional dependent or functional independent friends so the necessary and sufficient conditions for existence of functional relation among the function is as follows let us see one uh, statement friends here necessary and sufficient condition if u1 u2 and so on u, un are implicit implicit x1 x2 and so on xn the necessary and sufficient condition for existence of functional relationship functional relationship means here dependent of the form f of u comma u1 comma u2 comma and so on un that is equal to zero okay this is functional dependent then what he says here j of u1 u2 and so on un upon x1 x2 and so on xn that is equal to zero this is necessary and sufficient condition friends this is necessary and sufficient if it is dependent jacobian jacobian of u1 u2 and so on un upon x1 x2 and so on xn that is equal to zero see let us conclude if j of u v w upon x y z that is equal to zero then f of u v w is functionally dependent what friends if j of u v w upon x y z is equal to zero okay this value is equal to zero jacobian value is equal to zero then f of u v w is functionally dependent otherwise if it is not equal to zero functionally independent friends this is this is very very important if j of u v w upon x y z is not equal to zero then f of u v is functionally independent once again friends to prove jacobian uh, functionally dependent to prove functional dependent functional dependent j of u v w upon x y z value is equal to zero friends okay if this value is equal to zero automatically if jacobian value is equal to zero then u v w are functionally dependent friends functional dependent this is necessary and sufficient condition friends okay let us see one problem on functional dependent prove that 
the functions u is equal to x square root of 1 minus y square plus y square root of 1 minus x square v that is equal to sin inverse x plus sin inverse y are functionally dependent and hence find the relation between them okay functional dependent means friends j of u v upon x y that is equal to 0 and hence finds the relation between them find the relation between u and v friends see this is 2016 question very very important problem friends let us see the solution write on the given data friends write on the given data so given u that is equal to x square root of 1 minus y square plus y square root of 1 minus x square and v that is equal to sin inverse x plus sin inverse y sin inverse y now what he says u and v are functionally dependent so write down here condition if u and v are v are functionally dependent functionally functionally dependent dependent then then what is condition friends what is condition j of u v upon x y this value is equal to 0 friends this value is equal to 0 so this is 1 now you take lhs j of u v upon x y ok find the apply jacobian expand the determinant that value is equal to 0 friends that value is equal to 0 so take lhs what is says here j of u v upon x y what is the equivalent definition friends determinant of dou u by dou x dou u by dou y and dou v by dou x dou v by dou y dou v by dou y now i want to find dou u by dou x here so derivative of x is 1 so that we get here square root of 1 minus y square plus uh, y into derivative of this friends let us do that is equal to that is equal to determinant of derivative of x is 1 so it is square root of 1 minus y square square root of 1 minus y square plus y into y into derivative of square root of 1 minus x square uh, derivative of uh, d by dx of uh, root x is 1 by 2 root x 1 by 2 root x so 1 by 2 square root of 1 minus x square 1 by 2 square root of 1 minus x square and again derivative of minus 1 minus x square derivative of 1 is 0 minus x square is we get a minus 2x minus 2x okay and then with respect to y friends with respect to y same this time we get a x by x by 2 into square root of 1 minus y square 1 minus y square again derivative of 1 minus y square this time we get minus 2y minus 2y plus plus derivative of y is 1 so that we get a square root of 1 minus x square root of 1 minus x square determinant and then second row dou v by dou x means derivative of sin inverse x so inverse square, 1 by square root of 1 minus x square ok and, and 1 by square root of 1 minus x square sin inverse y is 0 with respect to x constant so the value is 0 similarly here friends sin in with respect to y here with respect to y with respect to y sin inverse y is 0 so sin, sorry, sin inverse x is 0 sin inverse y is we get here 1 by 1 by square root of 1 minus y square square root of 1 minus y square so that is equal to expand the determinant friends expand the determinant multiply here we get here uh, square root of 1 minus y square multiply here directly by square root of 1 minus y square ok minus 2xy 2xy upon 2 into square root of 1 minus x square into square root of 1 minus y square here we have minus uh, minus minus um, 
square root of first you write here this one friends square root of 1 minus x square by square root of 1 minus x square minus and minus plus here we get 2xy upon 2x upon 2 into square root of 1 minus x square into square root of 1 minus y square 1 minus y square now if you observe here square root of 1 minus y square square root of 1, 1 here we get again here also square root of 1, 1 minus x square square root of 1 minus we get 1 here see here plus 1 minus 1 cancel here now if you observe here minus 2xy upon 2, 2 into square root of 1 minus x square square root of 1 minus same thing here friend so these two are cancelled so finally we get here this value is equal to this value is equal to 0 hence hence what is conclusion here hence this is rhs hence u and v are u and v are functionally functionally dependent functionally dependent functionally dependent now uh, find the relation between u and v friends what he says find the relation between u and v so we know v is equal to sin inverse x sin inverse y v is equal to sin inverse x plus sin inverse y directly we have formula friends here that is this can be written as sin inverse of x into square root of 1 minus y square plus y into square root of 1 minus x square so that is equal to sin inverse of sin inverse of x into square root of 1 minus x square sorry square root of 1 minus y square plus y into square root of 1 minus x square so this value is u friends this value is u. so this uh, v, this is v is equal to so u is equal this can be written as sin of sin of v sin of v okay this is the relation between u and v u is equal to sin v friends u is equal to sin v once again he given u is equal to x into square root of 1 minus x square plus y into square root of 1 minus x square and v is equal to sin inverse x plus sin inverse y what he says uh, functional dependent functional dependent means j of u v upon x y that is equal to 0 friends so first i take the lhs here j of u v upon x y write down the document definition find the derivatives here and expand the determinant we get the zero so u and v are functionally dependent u and v are functionally dependent friends now what he says here find the relation between them find the relation between u and v so here v is equal to i am taking sin inverse x plus sin inverse y so by the definition of these we, we can write it as sin inverse of x into square root of 1 minus y square plus y into square root of 1 minus x square now this is this is nothing but u friends u so again u is equal it can be written as sin v sin v this is about uh, functional dependent when it is called uh, functional dependent by using jacobian and problems on functional dependent problem friends if you have any doubt in the concept or problem please comment in the comment box hope you understand thank you thank you for watching this video jai hind